Hi everyone, welcome to my cozy cottage. Thank you so much for stopping by. Here is a picture of my lovely children and I wanted to give you a little background on me before I show my home tour. They're all grown up now and now I'm on my own and I live with little Journey. He's my little buddy and my companion and the two of us moved into this cozy cottage after I was married for 25 years, found myself divorced and bought this cute cozy cottage to fix up. And I love being here with my little buddy, and I'm slowly picking away at this home to make it my own. So I hope you enjoy this and get a nice cold drink and enjoy this tour of my little cozy cottage. So we're starting off in my living room, and I want a little bit of a lighter, fresher look in the summer. So there's not quite as much decor as other seasons like fall and Christmas. So I have a little bit of a coastal theme in here. I live in Rhode Island and I'm not that far from Newport and we have a lot of beautiful beaches around here and it's a very pretty state. So I really enjoy where I am and I'm kind of in the country, but I'm also close to the city. So it's really, um, I'm very happy living here and we have all four seasons, but I will tell you this summer has been pretty hot but I love it. So here on my sofa, I use pillow covers to change for different seasons. I love them and with the storage in a cozy cottage, you need, need be able to store things and pillow covers are easy to store. Here's a little vignette I set on my ottoman and believe it or not, in that ottoman, I store all my pillow covers. Over here on my end table, I used a coastal placemat, a bowl of shells, a little um, pedestal that I made with shells to hold my lamp and for the summer I use this glass see-through lamp over here just a cozy little corner my little hutch just has a simple greenery olive wreath and a coastal picture over here for my pictures I actually use calendar covers and change out using different frames over here I just have more coastal pictures also from a calendar and I just did a quiet little corner with just a throw on my chair. Very simple for coastal. This corner too, just lots of greenery. And on this little board, I just clipped a little picture of a crab. And it has like a little clip and I thought it was cute. And over here, I do happen to love birds and they're definitely very summery and I love them in the spring too. Honestly, I love birds year round, to tell the truth. <laughs> so over here, I used a greenery wreath that I had, and I just popped in little starfish to add in that touch of coastal. So it's budget friendly and a simple way to add that touch. Now we're moving into my living room. This home has two little living room areas, and this is the mantle in the other room. Now for 4th of July, I had all these red florals and to just refresh and change it for the summer, I made cherry bows because the theme in my kitchen will be berries and cherries and fruit. And my living room is open to my kitchen. So I just put these little bows and just changed it up, but kept most of my decor from 4th of July. Here's a view standing back of these doors that I love and I just lean on the wall and add different wreaths to change them up for seasons. Now we're moving into my dining room. For the dining room, I didn't set up a tablescape. I actually just have like a runner with some fresh, light and airy decor on it. I recently purchased some chinoiserie pieces and I decided to use them for the table. So I thought it was a light, fresh look for the summer. Now we're looking at the buffet area next to my table and I just set up a simple vignette with these beautiful little orange plate, orange themed picture, and little greenery and near a basket. And it's just a simple sweet vignette that I set up for summer. Now we're moving on to my cozy little kitchen. 
And here, even though my kitchen's small, for some reason I just love to add decor in the kitchen. I don't know what it is, maybe because we spend so much time in the kitchen, or I don't know. I just love to add decor in the kitchen. So on my counters, I added all little fruit and berry and cherry themes. Here is what I set up on the island. Watermelon, candle holders, my tiered tray has cherries and the placemat has watermelon and berries and I even have these little cherry bowls. I just love this look. In the corner over here, I have a wreath, a Mackenzie Child's lamp, which is always here for every season and it lights up this little stand that I decorate. Here I have a red plate, a little strawberry sign. Here I have my little strawberry pitcher. And up above I have these little muffins and cherry cupcake holders. So moving from that little cozy corner in the kitchen is my pantry. And this was a hollow core door that I had covered with this beautiful wood. And over here I found some cute little accessories with my berry theme. This little chair picture which I love came from Michaels and so did this sign that says scratch kitchen everything fresh and I have started a collection of cherry plates which are in my plate rack and I absolutely love them up above the doors that lead to my sitting room I just did a bunch of different ribbons with bright colors in this garland up above and next to that I have my Mackenzie Childs framed berry little colander and I absolutely love it. Behind my stove I also had a matching wooden backsplash added that matches the door. Over here on my cabinets I just added a little cherry sign with a tassel and I have faux little pastry with cherry cupcake holders and I purchased those from Home Goods and I love to get them for the different seasons. My apothecary jars have red cherries and red candies and a little red candle. I just love the glow of the pretty color red. And over in my window, I always like to decorate. I have little birds and this berry please and thank you sign that says the magic words. We say that a lot in the school that I work in. <laughs> Above my window, I always love to do some sort of garland in my kitchen. It makes me happy to look at it. So I added that cherry ribbon and some navy blue bows and just touches of those berry colors in this garland. And I'm real happy with the way it came out. And it just makes me feel so cozy and it feels nice in the kitchen. So here is my white pitcher. I just love having a white pitcher near the kitchen. And I hung one of those little cherry signs on that with actually a little Christmas tree hook. And I just wanted some little greenery there. So this is a nice little space and it makes me happy when I'm working and cleaning and cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> we are now moving to my sitting room. This room is really just a room that's a tiny little room before my bedroom and I just get to have fun in this room. I get to decorate and change it for the seasons and basically it has a little table. I always have a little tree and this time my tree is done with just this little white floral garland. This room is painted black. I absolutely love it. It's tiny, but it has a big slider in it, so it doesn't feel dark. And it has these little doors that open up, so it's definitely not too dark with the black. I love the black accent walls. So these are some shelves that I decorated in this room. Just it's an area for me to do lots of little vignettes and change them out for different seasons or different videos. If we have a theme that I want to join in, these are great little areas for me to do that. So for the summer, it's just fresh and light and green. And even my little tree just has like a little white floral garland right now, but I will be doing a fall tree in my future videos. So I hope you have enjoyed visiting my cozy little cottage. I'd like to thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed it. And I'd love for you to consider subscribing and joining my cozy cottage family. Have a wonderful day, friends. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.